MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago Cubs. Here's Starling Marte. He will lead this one off today. Three two pitch. And this is heading out toward left field but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Oh my this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up. Into the bleachers and gone. Into the box Nick Ahmed. Popped him up. Kipnis over to his right. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. 1 1. It's looked at for ball number two. Three balls, one strike to Cattell Marte. David Peralta will be next. Hard hit ball to second. And that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Fouled away. The two two one more time. Skied in the air to straight away left. Schwarber is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. And that brings up Javi Baez. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1 home. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Back up the middle. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. The right field. Standing in now, Jason Hayward. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Peralta's after it. He's there and records the first out. So in now for Chicago, Chris Bryant. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Baez breaks from first. Hit high and deep to right center. After it is Marte. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. His batter pitcher numbers with Luke Weaver. He's just two for nine. He's taken him deep once. The 1-1 one, one home. Pitch inside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Ready now for the Diamondbacks, Eduardo Escobar. A match up with John Lester now to lead off the inning. The 1-2. Two 
pulled high in the air out to left field. Schwarber is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Ready now. Carson Kelly. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the one and one delivery. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty. One man out. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Up next for Arizona, Christian Walker. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And that misses two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Kipnis is under this one. As he puts this one away, the side is retired. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Marte is under it. Makes the play one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. One out, nobody on. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Right side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So a runner on first with one out now. And next it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Weaver is at least partially known for a good changeup. And it's not just any change of speed pitch. It dances all over the place. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Ball three. Three and two now. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Hit hard to the right. Payoff pitch one more time. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kyle Schwarber becomes out number two this inning. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. At the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. His average coming into this one is just barely over 200, so he'll be looking to turn the page on a slow start here. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. So he sets him down that swinging. Ildemaro Vargas goes down for the first out here in inning number three. 1-1 one, one on its way from Lester. A ball and two strikes now. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. And it's fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. 
Yeah, and that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Bottom of the third now, the next hub up, Jason Kipnis, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Three and two. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. The pitcher, John Lester, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. One and one, here it comes. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. So stepping in, Javier Baez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. From the belt, kicks and deals. Liner toward right center, and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. He'll get it into second, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. Now batter, the right fielder, Big Ben. So now to the plate, Jason Hayward. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now. That's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You've got to trust your stuff. Escobar camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Baez stands at second with two gone. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Bryant looking at a three and one count. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Three and two now. In the air to straightaway right. After it is Marte. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Riding into the box, Nick Ahmed. He flew out in his last at bat. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Three balls and a strike to count to the Diamondback shortstop. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four now, that, the now in the box Cattell the Marte comes into this at oh, bat 0 for 1 in the ball game the 3 2 pitch back up the middle and that's through for a hit Hap brings it in now that left fielder David at the plate, David Peralta. He pulls this one into right. And that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. And now, Eduardo Escobar. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. Working for the punch out and the offering. In the air to straightaway right. Hayward gathers it in. Here comes the runner for the plate. And a relay home. And he will score as that run breaks the tie and makes this a two to one ball game. The battle. Settling the in Kelly. now. Carson Kelly. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. 
Long run for the center fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. And to score is the runner from third. It's now three to one. Now batter, the first base, Christian Walker. Stepping in now, Christian Walker. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. The batter number 15. Standing in, Ildemaro Vargas. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Here's a pop-up now. Rizzo shading to his right. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So here's the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. And he misses with that one down and in. It's a full count now, three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on the deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Into the box now, Anthony Rizzo. Hit on the ground to third. There's one. On to first, and Rizzo's retired as well. A double play. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Here's another 1 2. And it's to 2 and 2 now with the bases empty and 2 gone here in the inning. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Luke Weaver. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? There to take it in is Kipnis, and there's one away. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Starling Marte. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Now the one and one pitch. On the ground to the left side. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. Standing in now, Nick Ahmed. Pitch out, nothing doing. Now a throw over, runners back. Three runs, five hits, and one error in the ballgame for Arizona. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. And he fouls this one off. Throw over to the bag, and he just manages to get his hand in. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will bang up against the wall. And a relay to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Now back, the center field, Patel. Okay. 
At the plate now, Patel Marte. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. He takes the change up the other way out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Man at second here with two away. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. David Peralta. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Looking at his career totals, Peralta comes into action carrying a slugging line above 470. Obviously a potent hitter looking to do some damage right here. Count even at two and two. A bouncer up the middle. Well, right back at Lester on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. The 1-1. One, one is in there for the second strike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta is under it. He's got it one away. So the base is empty here with one away. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Victor Caratini is into the on deck circle now as he'll pinch hit Victor. for the pitcher Lester. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. The 2 2. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. So now to the plate, Javier Baez. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And that'll get down for a base hit. At the plate, Jason Hayward yanked on the ground down the line. Oh, what a stop. Got him. Alec Mills please. takes over to start the now sixth please. inning on the mound. Number 30. Alec. Top half of the sixth Mills. about to get started. Eduardo Escobar standing in. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Digging in and looking for more, Carson Kelly. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Fouled off. The one-two. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Now Stepping into the box, the Christian. Piece. No hits to this point. Walker. Now the one and one pitch. Ball two. Come on. Two balls, one strike. This is hit pretty well out to left field. A ball that's carrying, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The batter number 50, second baseman, Ozemaro Morgan. 
stepping in now. He'll do Mauro Vargas. Fouled away. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Corbin Martin will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 48. Here's Chris Bryant now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Three and one to him now. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Now the Cubs four hole hitter, Wilson Contreras. One for two on his line so far in the game. And it's fouled away. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Hard on the ground towards short. That's through for a base hit. His second of the ball game. To the plate now, Anthony Rizzo. To two balls and two strikes now. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Into the box, Kyle Schwarber. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up. And it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that's going to be off the ivy-covered wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Into the box, Ian Happ. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Three and one to him now. May have swung at ball four that time and a little late to boot. Full count now. He's set the three two and an off speed pitch swung on and missed and with that the side is retired. Jeremy Jeffress will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. David Bodie will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. And he fouls this one off. One, two. He's at the knees and called strike three. Digging in to try it again. Starling Marte. He singled his last time up. Marte. The one, two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now batting, Nick Ahmed will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Looked like ball four there, but instead it's three and two now. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Stefan Crichton gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Stefan. Into the box now, David Bodie. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. 
even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Here comes Marte. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Here's Javier Baez. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Two and two. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. Four two our score. Hard hit ball to second. And there's out number two. Stepping in, Jason Hayward. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit back toward the mound. There is Ahmed. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Ryan Tapera has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping up now, Cattell Marte. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1 home. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Now that now with the plate, David Peralta. He's got a hit in three at bats Peralta. to this point. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So here's Eduardo Escobar. The third base, number five. Eduardo Escobar. Now the one and one pitch. Hits are even at seven apiece. And a sinker called strike three as he's rung up and the side is retired. Hector Rondon will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Digging in now, Chris Bryant. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte is in his tracks now. One gone. So one gone here in the Chicago eighth, and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. Drilled on the ground is short. Med fields it cleanly. On to first, and there are two down. Digging in, Anthony Rizzo. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Getting late, 4 2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Fouled off. Fouled away. Still a ball and two strikes. And it's fouled away. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Greg Kimball enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. 
all set to start the ninth in this one. Now to the plate, Carson Kelly. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should oh, say. His third out. punch out of the game. The Walker. One and one. Here it is. Hit back up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. Now back. The second baseman. In tomorrow. Vargas. In now, Hildemaro Vargas. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Kimbrell, originally from the state of Alabama, he was selected in the third round during the 2008 draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go in the high rounds, and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Runners on first with one down. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Domingo Leyva will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Domingo Leyva. A ball and two strikes. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Andrew Chafin comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 47, Andrew Digging in once again, Kyle Schwarber. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Chafin has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. So it was a strikeout swinging. Kyle Schwarber is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Nico Horner will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Two run game last of the night with two away. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. Grounded back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. At the plate now, David Bodie. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And that is into right field, a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving the on the pitch, it will wind up first Good and job. second here. Javier. Standing in now, Javier Baez. Javier. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Shot back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Now the right field. Stepping in now, Jason Hayward. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away.
Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Well, they sure made it interesting in the ninth, but they leave the tying run stranded at second and the winning run helplessly at first. Could have gone either way, but we were treated to a great battle. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The D-backs took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Luke Weaver takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Andrew Chafin hammers down the save, his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Four runs on eight hits, one error. They left five men on base. For the Cubs, three runs on ten hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Attendance at Wrigley Field this afternoon. 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cup baseball and remind you to please drive home safely.